I love this car from Finley Kia. I love the power of this Kia. I love the styling of this Kia. I love the interior of this Kia. I love all the space in this Kia. I love I think you love this car more than me. Don't be ridiculous, honey. Three in charge at the gentlemen, UFC. This is our first female contest of the evening, an amateur bout consisting of three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 125 pounds, representing Rocky Mountain Karate. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Lacey Whitlash. And her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 128 pounds, representing Jackson Submission. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Nikki Garcia. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Big John McCarthy. All right, we've got Big John McCarthy, the head man in charge, the third man in the ring, the legendary referee of mixed martial arts. He started it all with the UFC. And again, we've got the two female combatants. We've got... Oh, oh good punch going into the double leg counters. Working for position, she's inside her guard. We've got Garcia working on top. You can see Witch Latch. She's trying to remain in that guard position. What she's trying to do when she's inside the guard is hold onto those hips so that Garcia cannot pass. It's much easier to submit, not that you can't submit from inside the guard. What you're gonna see here too, is striking from the bottom. The more she strikes, it's not that they're knockout blows, they're gonna detour her. There she goes, that's what we call passing from side mount. Now she's trying to go what's called full mount. She swings her leg over. You can see that Witch Latch is trying to block that leg. The mount position is very bad. It's kind of like your big brother holding you down and whipping your butt. You don't want to be there. What she's doing is holding onto that head to control. And again, she's pushing to the hip. You're going to see this is the jiu-jitsu skills of mixed martial arts. She's trying to hold on so that she can't posture up and strike her. Now she's making good position. See how she worked her way around Witch Latch's left leg. Now she's in side control. She's locking it up. You might see some knees thrown from there and possibly a submission attempt. You can see she's trying to hold her close. Again, she's going for that full mount, as it's called. You're going to see Garcia trying to pass her right leg over, and she's working that hard. You can see Witch Latch blocking with her leg and ankle. She keeps on her hips. And again, Garcia in the light blue board shorts and Witch Latch in the black Muay Thai trunks. Now working through position. Also see the aggressive nature. She's cross-facing on the face, holding Garcia's face down. That's always an uncomfortable position. Almost like a hockey fight. I love it. The little hold him down and hockey punch. A little ground and pound action. Great hooks. Again, these are hard to knock someone out from this position, but they're very, very cumbersome when you're trying to defend the strikes. Good hammer fist strike there. Again, strike set up submissions. The more you strike, the more frustrated you're going to make your opponent, and they're going to open up and give you a submission. Beautiful. Nice hammer style. Reminiscent. To, oh, we've got full mount. She's going to give her back. Not a good position. You don't want to give that back. It sets up the rear naked choke. Got the hooks in. She rolls over to full mount. Ten seconds left in the round. Doing a good job. She's put, beating her on her like a drum. Garcia pulls her back and beats the submission. End of round one.
And here we have the replay. And here we see Garcia again. She's working from the top. She's got her right leg. She's pulling it out of Witch Latch's legs. But now she goes with a beautiful hammer fist strike right on the temple. That is going to require Excedrin tomorrow morning. She's beating her like she stole something and making her put it back. And then she goes into full mount, a little face palm to, holds her down. And again, she gets her back. A very big point. I'd say at this point, the judges scorecards, we'd see a 10-9 round scored in favor of Garcia. An excellent training camp that she fights out of in New Mexico, Jackson's MMA, home of Diego, the nightmare Sanchez, and as well, the Dean of Mean, Keith Jardine. Great camp that they train with. And, and once in a while you see Rashad Evans down there. Great group of athletes that she's training with. Some high level UFC fighters. Trying to keep those feet on the on the hips there. A little bit of open guard there from Wichlatch. Wichlatch is obviously struggling from the bottom there. She needs to get off of her back. She needs to get those hips moving because Garcia is stronger at the, at the top game. And again, in the side mount, very good position. Very tough predicament. You want to see some knees thrown there occasionally. Again, working the strike. You can see, there you go, there's the pass. She's going for that pass, setting the knee across the stomach, controlling the hips. Which that's trying to let those strikes go from the bottom. You see her using the knees, but not enough leverage there to stop Garcia. Garcia trying to hook her leg with the arm. That is a tough position. You try and put him in the crucifix. Another full mount. She's getting her post out. She's posting those arms out. So when she spreads the arms out, she gets better balance and control. What Witch Latch needs to do is possibly when she starts to strike is do what's called that's it, an oompa. Try and roll her off the hips, but she's turning. And again, she's going to give her back up. She's reaching in there for that arm bar. She's going to try and pull that arm bar. Good striking. Holding her down and just pounding. Again, a style fa made famous by the Midwest wrestlers in the early days of the game called ground and pound. Holding them down and smacking them. Very uncomfortable position. This is a tough place to be because at least if you're standing, you can absorb the blows. But when you're on your back, you also have your head bounce off the mat. So in essence, you actually have two enemies. Good hooks. She's controlling this fight. The more she strikes, the easier it is going to be to set up a submission. I'd like to see Garcia turn it up a little. She's in total control, just trying to finish the fight. Great composure being showed, though, by Lacey Wichlatch. This, again, tough position. She needs to work, get off that back. Nice straight shot to the chin, just holding her and hitting her. You can see the control. Those shots hurt so much from the top position. And, and Big John seeing if she's all right. The best in the business. And again, these are amateurs. It's a new precedent. This is the first women's amateur fight. Going for that arm bar. She's got it. She scratches it out. And I think she's got it. No, she's rolling out. And again, for the second round in a row, she beats the submission. She's very excited about that, but she's still down two rounds to nothing. I'd score that fight 10-9 again in favor of Garcia. And here we're going back to the replay. You can see Garcia just controlling the top game. Nice little noogie shot to the temple. Good hook to the chin. Again, great control from the top. That Jackson's Jiu-Jitsu, an MMA club in Albuquerque. Just a strong top game. Great all-around Jiu-Jitsu being shown here. And then she rolls right into the, the arm bar and pulls it back. And almost again, stop the fight. Greg Jackson there giving instructions. One of the best coaches in the mixed martial arts today. Which match said that she's a karate expert. We need to see some two guns a blazing, a little bit more standing and striking. She needs to let the bombs fly. Good kick, good defense there from Garcia. And again, back to the ground, back to Garcia land. 
She she's the landlord. She owns her right now. She's making her pay the rent down there. <laughs> Trying to hook kick from the top. A little annoying kick, but again, nothing that's gonna stop your opponent. Again, she needs to hip out, as it's called, work for position. She, she needs to move those hips, very important. Move those hips, can't stay there. And again, you're gonna see Garcia go for the pass, which is important. Trying to hook the leg over, oh, and now she looks like she's gonna work around, and now she's passed for side control. And again, this is going to put her in a good position to strike. And as well, she's going to work for submissions. Doing a good job of holding that face down. So you use that cross face or the forearm to hold them down. And again, very good, solid jiu-jitsu. She needs to get that right leg back through, does Lacey. She needs to scoop that through, get her into her closed guard. She's got her in half guard, which is a little better, but she needs to move that right leg over and back around the hips. Again, look at Big John, close to the action. That's why he's the best in the mixed martial arts business. And there, there's the pass again and the full mount. So she's in trouble. This is a tough position. She's trying to OMPA. She needs to maybe try and grab her waist, control those arms, but again, she's defenseless on the bottom and that's the key in this sport. You've got to be able to intelligently defend yourself. So. Sometimes you're going to see TKOs from here. Again, I really think that Garcia could stop her if she turns this fight up. Controlling the arms. Just a situation of style versus styles. Which has a good karate game, but not a good all-around MMA game. You can see that Garcia has a good defense to striking and took her to the ground in a good jiu-jitsu game. And again, very bad position to be in. And what you, we have here, Big John McCarthy, because they're in the ropes, he doesn't want them to fall out of the ring. We have what's called a restart when you fight MMA in a ring. They're gonna start in the same position, but restart them, and she turns it up. A little hook, hook, hook combination, swinging, little ground and pound. Interesting, Lacey tried to shoot up from the bottom with a punch, see that? But you just can't get enough leverage. If anything, you're gonna just make your opponent more mad. 10 seconds left in this round. Nice, straight shot. She's applying the pressure, digging for oil with those punches. She definitely, great heart shown by both athletes, definitely by Lacey. Definite domination win by Nikki Garcia. And here's the replay. Again, the control, what we've seen all night. She, she's been on top of her the whole time, trying to pull that arm through, yank it out for the submission attempt. Good hammer fist. That hammer fist is one of the most important strikes from the top. Very fast, effective, and you don't lose position. It sets up that big power punch. Lacey doing a good job of trying to control those arms, but her ground game just could not contain Garcia's. Nikki Garcia, excellent jiu-jitsu practitioner. Again, great win here. Great heart. And again, Nevada's first amateur women's mixed martial arts contest. Greg Jackson taking the tape off of Nikki Garcia. Incredible camp like we were speaking about earlier. Diego, the Nightmare Sanchez, Keith, the Dean of Me, Jardine, and as well, Rashad Evans making his home once in a while down in Albuquerque. Back to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision. Nikki Garcia. All right, Nikki Garcia, you just made history. Welcome to the history books in Nevada, mixed martial arts. And the beautiful ring girls of Tough Enough Productions.
handing out the medals.